Hey, what's up everybody? It's Lids and we're back for some more Marduk. And of course, last time we took out the Earth Guardian, along with Nereus and Co. And we were on our way to picking up this Earth Crystal here, yes. However, I was saying there were a couple other things we wanted to make a point of doing first. And you're probably asking yourself, well, I thought the Earth Crystal was the primary thing that we were here for. What gives? And yes, that may be the case. However, if we were to say, look at our map, we'd find that there's actually some kind of door over there it would seem so if we check this out we'll find that well we can't do anything here so that's strange uh, okay but if we were however to go over to this side notice how we have a few relatively normal looking rocks there there and there this one though has some kind of dot on it so what's the deal with that it's almost like it's some kind of button so if say we were to go back over here now now we'd find that we can go through this room here and find ourselves in a place with a dream circle actually so if we go through that it's a small room only one thing in here that being a switch a green switch at that and if we look at our map we'll find that in this area although it looks tiny we've apparently also already flipped a purple and a cyan switch so not sure what the deal is there you guys remember any other places where we've already flipped a couple switches but couldn't find one last one maybe maybe so that's a big pickup there we'll have to investigate that further there's one other thing that we're gonna want to do though that being if you remember there was that room in one of the other areas in the Earth Temple where we could not enter it. There was a locked door. And we do not yet have the means to go through that door, of course, we couldn't get in. But if we were to make a point of, say, paying a visit to some old friends, then we might find a way to do just that. So let's actually warp out of here. And what I think we're gonna wanna do is pay a quick visit to Xantusia, of all places. It's been a while since we were there. And I suppose the Sun Temple as well. But the primary destination here is Xantusia. And remember, we have the portal through here that should expedite the process. So if we go through this one, we'll now be back in the city. And if we were to say, speak to some of the people here. It's been a while since we spoke to any of the shopkeepers, and Gopa's in here as well. However, this shopkeeper says, Oh, he's... Is that a sand fruit that you have there, human? Can I have it? I will give you something in return. Oh, okay, uh, sure, go on. <laughs> no, I don't want to give it to you. How dare you even propose such a deal? Yeah, okay. So we give him the lost sand fruit, which we picked up way back when we were first in the Sandflow Caves here. Thank you. With this, I can make my special appointment again at last. Oh, oh. Okay. Here, you can have this bottle of special ointment, sir. My last one left from the old batch. Okay, that sounds like that could be useful to us. Let's check it out. So it is a special ointment, a type of ointment made from sand fruit. It can be used to cure or relieve many embarrassing ailments. Huh. Okay, do we recall having anyone who needs such a thing? That sounds vaguely familiar. In fact, if we were to say double back to the Salakian Temple, I believe the High Priest said something about needing some kind of special ointment. Nope, he's here as well. I'm not sure we actually spoke to him before. Have we even been in the shop? I'm not sure we've been in the shop before. Maybe, but it's been so long. Wow, this place is full of like talking lizards. I never even knew they existed before recently. Took me a while to get down here then, let me tell you. How he did it exactly, don't know, but I suppose he's good at that type of thing. Want to see me wears, friend? So it should be the same type of stuff we've seen before, of course, but mostly just checking in with Goat. And have we read these books either? Bookshelf? There are books about items? Yes. Not very interesting, really. Unfortunate. This one? There's a book here mentioning how shamans are usually rather proficient when it comes to making special, unique potions. That seems a rather sweeping generalization to you, so you have doubts as to his veracity. 
Okay, I suppose so. I mean, we have gotten some useful potions from, say, the shaman from Dosnor. There is also the blacksmith over here that we could perhaps see if we could make any useful items, because also, it's been a while since we checked in with him, and I think there was a time when we were talking about trying to get an upgraded rune shield, rune shield plus, because one of the ingredients for it was the base rune shield, and we wanted to make sure that we mastered the abilities on that with Vern and Marduk before we turned that in for the upgraded version. And so I was kind of thinking we might have had one in our inventory here, and we may still, but we might need to double back over to a save crystal. Oh, here it is. It's just a slightly different color. Throwing me off a bit. But let's double check as to whether Marduk, yes, you have mastered all the stuff there. Vern, have you as well? You have. So that should mean that we have no reason to use the basic rune shield when, say, we could have an upgraded version of a rune shield plus. The normal rune shield did have the minus 20% magic damage reaction, whereas rune shield plus has actually damage soak 20 and also 10 magic defense versus 5, so sounds good. Costs a magic rune stone, and I do think we saw some of those, possibly even in the Earth Temple recently. Just a matter of tracking down who is holding on to one. Well, the answer here is Marduk, apparently. So with that, we can create this rune shield plus, which would, of course, give Marduk a new skill. And Vern as well, eventually, but maybe we just start with Marduk here. The other thing is, there's a glyph shield that is made from a wooden shield, fireable, aquamarine, topaz, and jade. And at the time, we did not have enough of these pieces. Namely, I don't think we had a jade yet to create this, but we might be capable of doing it now. Because we have, of course, been to many temples in which we've been able to pick these things up. We have a wooden shield on us at the moment. I believe those are pretty disposable, because those we can probably purchase from just about any old weapon shop. However, I'm not exactly sure that we do at this moment. We might need to double back. Oh, to the save crystal to pick it up. We are, however, not allowed to leave after having given the blacksmith some of our items. Let's take him back first. There are perhaps a few other things that we might want to make there as well, but might be more of a, a thing that we'll want to check back in on later on. Let's just do this quick exchange here. So here's a wooden shield. That should be enough. Just while we're in the area, you know? Pick up a quick upgrade or two. Okay, so we go back to this guy and we throw on said wooden shield to go with those other gemstones. Then we should find that, well, which should be makeable. And there we have it. So this one has that spell resist 30%. So that is an ability that I believe both Charla and Donovan and basically any of our spellcasters can learn with the dark robe. However, for those who cannot wear robes, this is the only way to make it happen. Also does have a little bit of resistance across the board for all those elements. So if we're looking to get a little bit in a bunch of different things, then this could be a good way to do that. Because it is tough to get resistances from the shield spot. That's one of the reasons why getting things like the shield of darkness and the shield of light were so useful for us. That is another thing that I believe we had a kite shield for, because those are rather rare, but that is the key ingredient for making those. I thought that someone had one in their inventory. Yes, Charlotte does. No, oh, except we need to, of course, say that we're going to make one of these. Question would be, which one do we want? Because we have one of each right now. We find it more worthwhile to be able to double up on light resistance or dark resistance. And generally speaking, we have found ourselves going against more dark elemental enemies. So that might be worthwhile, especially bear in mind the two shield users that we have right now are Vern and Marduk. They are both light elemental, meaning that they both start with 20% light resistance and 20% dark weakness. If we want to cover for that weakness, then the Shield of Darkness is probably one of the best ways to do that. So let's go with the Shield of Darkness for that reason, I believe. And just hope that we have, yes, some Dark Essence on hand. That we do. 
here's our second Dark Shield. We had one in our inventory because, of course, we just took off the Dark Shield when we put on the Rune Shield Plus for Marduk. But there we go. So there's a couple of things to pick up on that end. Like I said, I think we'll make more of a point of getting some of those other things crafted soon because, well, there are perhaps even more that we can make. But as for right now, let's head back over to the Slokian Temple. And see if we can talk to the High Priest about this special ointment that we just picked up. Perhaps he would take interest in it. Why, hello there, good sir. You will always be welcome here, Royal Knights of Gosnor. And you go with the blessings of Solak. Hmm, huh, was it him or was it, say, one of the other priests? That may be the case. All the dark monsters are gone now! Hooray! Now I can run around naked like a... What? Oh, okay, um, maybe don't do that. No. Bad idea. I am a priest of Solak! Sure. However, was it you? Yes! That special ointment! I need it! That will grow my hair! I just know it! Give it to me, won't you? Yes? Uh, no, absolutely not. No. Well, okay, fine. Hooray! Now I can use it to grow glorious locks and become something other than a priest of bloody old miserable Solak. I never liked him anyway. Thanks. Here, you can have my old hair tonic. I have no use for it anymore, but I'm sure you have some long, glowing locks under that ridiculous thing you're wearing on your head, Mr. Nightington. That is your name, right? Yeah, I thought so. Okay. And do you guys remember hearing anyone who needed a hair tonic? Or anyone who has flowing locks? Marduk, maybe not so much, but yes, there was in fact someone who, again, a while back told us that they were interested in such a thing. However, that person, I'm afraid, is across the ocean. Or river, or whatever this body of water separating the northern and southern continents are. I'm actually not sure if we know what it is, technically speaking, but anyways, that's beside the point. Point is, we gotta head north. And, you know, we'll just pay these guys no mind. We've proven our superiority. We can take out the security demons. Okay, and any recollection as to who that person is? In the northern continent, yes. Long, flowing hair. You want to seal our warport pass? You can never have it. Nice try. Okay, and you're right. You guessed correctly. It's the shaman. No, I'm kidding. It's not. It is, in fact, our good old friend, Galavar. Say, Sir Marduk, is that a hair tonic you have with you there? I could really use that, you know. You don't need it, right? I mean, you wear that ghastly he- I, I mean, that, that, uh, uh yes, that, that ghastly helmet that you insist on wearing. My lovely, glowing locks, on the other hand, are sick and need that wondrous elixir. Gift it to me. Oh, please. Mm, I don't know. Maybe we do, in fact, have flowing locks underneath this helmet and we could really use the hair tonic. Nah, we'll give it to you. Oh, blessed be. Good night. I thank you mightily for this. My self-confidence will be restored once more. I'll even be able to go out on the streets again without feeling like the worst type of vagrant. Oh, I'm sure it wasn't that bad, Galavar. I have little to give you in return, so, um, uh, er, how about this romance novel? Huh? Really? O okay. It's, um, well, it, it gets very lonely in here at times, you see. And, um, it's really saucy? Yes. <laughs> uh, maybe you enjoyed it if you give it a try. Well, I didn't know you were into that sort of thing, Galavar. I'm surprised. Y yeah, a little taken aback. He's blushing. Uh, yes, er, er, you won't tell anyone, will you? Please don't. Um, uh, yes. Thank you for the hair tonic. Good day. May, uh, may your lord bless you. Okay, so we did pick up the romance novel, which is a little strange. Seems like a bit different from just about everything else that we've ever had, but 
I suppose if we we're dealing in hair tonics, then maybe this isn't too much of a departure from that type of thing. It's a thin tome full of rather sordid fantasies, written in rather amateur, flowery prose. Right. Still, some people like reading these sorts of things, it seems. So, any ideas as to who we ought to give that to? Because, well, I'm not sure we've really heard anyone say that they are in particular need of a romance novel, but is there anyone who say feels like they could use a little bit of a pick-me-up? Someone who's had, well, maybe just been a little bit grumpy as of late? Someone who lives on the southern continent? Someone who, say, may or may not reside in the larger city in the southern continent? Someone who may or may not have already spoken to us before, and may have shut us down rather rudely, if I do say so myself. Maybe it was this person's job, sure, but we got business to attend to, right? So, if we were to make our way over to Aropolis and go to none other than, say, how about up north, I believe we will find. Remember where that is? That's been a while, right? This is the Temple District. And into the Air Temple, and of course, remember, we have all the miasmal chalices from the other temples. We've also picked up the fire and water crystal, and we are at least capable of taking the earth crystal now. So that would mean that we'd have air remaining. Light is in the Gosnor Castle, so that's already taken care of. Dark, who the serious man took, so unless we're going to be able to track him down, not going to be able to find that. And then lastly, there would be the Ether Crystal, but that is, well, no one knows where it is, and it actually may not exist. People aren't really sure. So basically, that means this is probably the last crystal we really need. We, of course, tried to speak to this person previously, and she was having none of it. This time around, though, is that a romance novel? Why would a knight like you be into that sort of thing? But no, no, it's not the fitting of you. I really must take it off of you. You don't want to be seen reading that, after all. So please, hand it over. Is that so, Priestess Gale? And why might that be? Uh, maybe that is, in fact, our type of thing, and we would very much like to read it. We haven't had the chance to do so yet, because we only just picked it up. Unless, of course, you yourself would prefer to be the one reading it. But surely not, right? No, those are... Silly little things, those romance novels, right? Oh, and take it, I will. It's actually one I've not even read before. Hold on, you say, and you make a point of reading these things? Caught you red-handed. I'm quite the collector, you see. It does get awfully lonely, standing around in this pokey little building all day, alone. A woman needs some. Whoa, okay, well. Increase the scale. I didn't really think you were going to go in that direction, but... Here, have a scrumptious cake. I'm sure it will serve as adequate remuneration. Uh, what? What's this? You've never seen a cake before? It's a sort of food that I thought was more popular in the North than it is here. She's very suspicious of us. She's like, hold on, I was not a fan of you trying to take the air crystal before. Now you're telling me you don't understand what cake is? Guards, take this man! What's a food? Oh no, Marduk. It's something you must get enough of every day, along with drink, rest, and expelling waste, in order to stay healthy, and... You know what? Never mind. Please, be on your way. I'm sure you have a lot of nightery to attend to, and I can't see this being relevant to one such as yourself. Okay. So, in that case, we can check out our new rumptuous cake. A lovely chocolate cake, whatever one of those is. It looks very delicious. Probably, if we ever ate anything at all in this game. But, 
if we're continuing the trend here, and we're looking for someone to give this cake to, who is it who might want such a thing? Do we have any reason to believe that that is the type of thing that someone's been waiting to get? And for this one, I think we will be looking for someone in the southern continent. We can start our list there. Someone who is actually not in Aeropolis. So we can limit our search there. We're looking for, say, someone else who's a bit on the lonely side. Maybe doesn't have access to the best of foods where they currently live. Things are rather isolated and maybe could use something like a scrumptious cake. Who am I referring to? Well, can you guess? Based on where we find ourselves right now? Perhaps you can. It's been a while since we've seen these guys, but we could take at least Madness Arts out here, at least I'd like to leave, but apparently not. We can still break through some of the Amberistal's defenses. They have really high magic defense, so I was not expecting to deal any damage to them, but Carlos Thunderbolt is fairly powerful, so at least we can do some of that. Burn, I mean, well, we could just absolutely annihilate one of these guys. Probably do want to go for an Amber Whistle because they are higher on the magic defense. And Legion, with that in mind, you may not want to go Bubble Breath or Tsunami. You might actually want to use some kind of physical attack. We don't have a ton of those. The Amber Whistle is, in fact, a little bit resistant to dark, and most of your physical attacks are dark elemental, to tell you the truth. So, maybe we try a bubble breath and see if that works out? Or we go with a dark attack and just deal with not quite having enough damage? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go Tsunami. It may or may not have enough damage. It might. It does. No problem. I take it back. I was going to say, Marta could at least perhaps use a water slash to take out the remaining Amber Crystal. It's actually Magic Earth Resistance Mastered for Vern, so... Sure? Maybe not the most fitting of times for that to happen, but... Okay. So we'll head back over here. And of course, we found that Crimson Peak does get a little bit confusing with its winding caves, yes. Oh! Lots of temperances. These guys actually are one of the few enemies from whom Legion can learn one of its skills. However, we have already learned it from Bernard. And that is not the skill. It would be specifically the air elemental temperances, because remember that they can be any one of either fire, air, water, or earth. And the skill is the air elemental spell that hits everyone at once, the big powerful one that we can usually only learn from major enemies. So that is the one skill of those four between water, air, fire, and earth that you can learn from a recurring enemy. The other ones all come from bosses. So for that reason, that's why we were saying before, that you really want to make a point of Legion showing up at those boss fights. So, it doesn't matter this time around. We would otherwise have reason to keep this guy alive and make a point of making sure that it uses that skill in Legion. No matter this time, though. Legion did learn it from Bernard, as I said. So it does also come from a boss. It's just that the much easier ways to get it from those guys there. Because you can fight them whenever you want. But the person we're looking for here is, of course, the only person who permanently resides in such a place. That being the person who I believe is just a few steps away. Okay, more Magnus Arts. Charla, your Thunderbolt was not enough last time, but it did come close at least on one occasion. And so one of them down, at least there's that. But we are, of course, I believe, still set up for Earth Resistances here, so the fire, it'll deal some damage. Of course, we're stronger since the last time we were here, so that helps. I know, like a random Magnus Art. I think that was the one with the lowest HP, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue here, because I'm assuming all you guys will be able to take one of these out. Marduk, you will need to use an ability other than Fire Slash, unless we want to make a point of mastering here because this is an enemy we can use on an infinite number of times and still not have it go down, which is kind of convenient, to tell you the truth. 
So that is somewhat tempting, because we did also pick up the Earth Elemental Sword that we're ultimately going to want Marduk to use so that he can learn that skill as well. So maybe we just... We don't necessarily need to master Fire Slash right now, but if we could get closer, it seems like an interesting opportunity to make that happen. And we will, of course, take some damage along the way, but hopefully that's not too much of a concern here. Just as long as Marduk gets a chance to do this. And this Magazard's like, I've never felt better in my life. This guy just keeps on healing me. For more life than I have at that. Healing him for, what, 900-ish damage? He only has 600 or so HP. He's like, to what do I owe the pleasure? And then with this one here, Marduk is on what will be 17 uses. So he's getting close. Then that way we can make a point to burn on that Earth Elemental Sword, basically, as soon as possible. Because like I said, we definitely did not want to throw it on in the Earth Temple. Thematically fitting, with it being Earth, of course, but at the same time, it was not going to be terribly effective against the Earth Guardian or any of the other enemies in there. For that reason, we're gonna have to wait anyway. But having a chance to throw it on soon thereafter is a nice pickup. And oh, remember, we did put on the new shield for Marduk, but I don't yet think we put on the reaction for that. So we're gonna wanna make a point to do that before we do forget in full. I suppose we forgot for a little while, yes, but not sure we had too many spells that have hit us thus far. Maybe just one from the previous fight. Here we go. Marduk has now mastered it. Just in time, because he was about to run out of MP. There's the master. So let's throw on... This is the new skill. And, well... In terms of how we distribute our RP, it doesn't make a ton of sense here. And here's our confirmation that we did, in fact, forget to put on the Resist Earth on Marduk. Would have been helpful, but ultimately we were okay. Just, you know... We were saying we we're going to make a point to do that, and then we didn't do it. So, if you are having trouble with the Earth Guardian, then make sure you do that. We could also, like we were saying, throw on the Earth Sword. If that is still in someone's inventory here. Maybe at the Save Crystal right now, though. Not currently seeing it. Maybe it's just buried in here somewhere. Either way. Once we're over there, we can make that happen. And there is, of course, a save crystal right over here. Well, as soon as we fight this fight. Okay, similar to what we saw initially in this area. Will we see any different results this time around? Charla does take out at least one Magnazar. Except all the other people, well, of course, they will attack us. Burn, not sure that's gonna matter much to you. You can still take this guy out here if you don't miss. So, okay, Legion Tsunami. I wasn't worried. I wasn't worried. We have Legion. No problem. Okay. So, we can make a point to go into the save crystal here, using it to pick up the sword. Where did we put that sword? Because, well, did we swap any party members out? Maybe we didn't, in which case I would expect for us to still have it. We had Zack. Oh, we did have Zack previously, just before the Guardian fight, and then we swapped him out, so that's probably where that went. So we'll throw it on. And like we were saying, gives Marduk access to the Earth Slash ability here. So, of course, he hasn't mastered that yet, because that's new to him. But, the primary reason for going here was to speak to the Hermit, of course. Oh, you brought me a scrumptious cake. Ah, very much. I love those. Hadn't had one in ages. Or anything to eat, for that matter. Not big on it myself. Or with all the munching and crunching and what have you. But I make an exception for scrumptious cake any day. So, uh, can I have it? I mean, sure, we don't do much eating ourselves, but it seemed like this may be a good place to get started. Yeah, but if you insist. This is my lucky day. Oh, come to me, scrumptious cake. 
Let me rub your brown, brown flesh all over my internal tunnels of my skin-colored body. Massage my belly's acid bag, and I will cannibalize you like any good friend would. Okay, let's, uh, let's just move it on there. Here, sir, man. Have a key. What's it for? Well, if I told you, it'd take all the fun out of it, wouldn't it? Know that it's not from my heart, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, a key, you say? Let's perhaps take a look at said key. Here it is, it's a little wooden key. A small key, made of wood. Its design is crude, and it looks like it's seen many years. So, if you remember, back in the Earth Temple, that little door that we couldn't make it through was in fact a wooden door. And so this here is the key for that door. And so, we have now found our way into said area, or at least we'll be able to make our way into that area. So, we will of course need to make our way back over to the Earth Temple in order to do that. Which is naturally in Lifewood and whatnot. And we'd have to make a point, teleporting over there. Doing so with a fairy certainly helps. Eh, yeah, we could walk through the forest, but, you know, who needs the exercise, right? I'm sure this'll do just fine. Oh no. Or maybe not. Please don't make everyone go to sleep. Two people escaped, including Charla. Charla and Thunderbolt. Bail us out, Charla. Thank you. Did we put insomnia on Charla? Because if so, then that was maybe a far more important move than we realized at the time. I'm curious. We did. Okay, so not a coincidence that that's been the case on several occasions here, I think. Bright eyes and agility maybe not so important when we could, say, just do one battle and master plus 20% MP. That'd be kind of nice, but anyways, we're going to want to make it back to the hub room and from the hub room, make it back into the area where we found that little wooden door. So it'll be a little bit of a walk, but I'm sure we can make our way over. Okay, and we've seen just one or two of these witch doctors thus far, and I think we took them out so quickly we didn't even get the chance to see what the deal is with them. So they're very weak to air, a little bit resistant to earth. No defenses at all, for that matter. They're reptilian, but okay. Don't really know what the deal is with them, other than that. Earth elementals, so I mean, I suppose we just want to throw some thunderbolts at them and see what happens. Witch Doctor down, everyone else down as well. No problem, really. And so the mystery of the Witch Doctor will continue as to what exactly they do. But plus 20% MP now mastered, of course. Let's head up this way. And here we are in the hub room once more. So, with that in mind, I think this is probably a good place for us to wrap up here, and next time we'll be able to head on over to, I believe it might be this room here, one of these rooms where we saw that other door that we did not have access to before. We've now picked up the key so we can see what secrets lie beyond.